Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide. I am Silfen. In this video we are taking a look at the math behind Pressure Hunter. Very interesting card that I think I have found something, ladies and gentlemen. So the TLDR right off the bat is it's a 7 Agility Chaos card, some power, some attack speed, a little bit lower than usual, but a passive that basically gives you more damage against targets with more vitality than you. Uh, the, some factual statements we can make. Pressure Hunter contains below average stats for its attribute cost, so it's not on its own gonna do too much for you but pressure hunter is solely based on giving a damage boost against targets with more vitality than you if you don't if you if you have more vitality than them then there's it does nothing for you pressure hunter can provide up to around a 27 percent dps increase on a carry against a full vitality hero that is crazy Pressure Hunter will not work against a target that has the same or less amount of vitality than you. I say that a couple times just because it's really important. Pressure Hunter will not be better than any 7 attribute point cost card or higher if the, if not utilizing its passive. In other words, it's kind of useless. Pressure Hunter can provide the second biggest DPS boost next to OPD Militia and excluding something crazy like, um, like Red Zone, except only against targets with more vitality than you, again, to drive that home. Pressure Hunter starts to equal similar cost cards like Flag Bearer, Swamp, Stalker, Swift Hunter, Wound Seeker, etc. When your target has about a 5 to 10 vitality delta than you. So it doesn't require a full tank to actually start getting good value out of it. When one combines Pressure Hunter with OPD Militia though against a target with more vitality than you, one can achieve the highest DPS in the game. It's absolutely insane. Again, excluding something like Red Zone. If one is against three fighters or heroes building vitality, even two targets, Pressure Hunter can be a massive DPS boost. So ladies and gentlemen, that was the TLDR. If you want the proof behind and want to see the numbers, and actually, I'm serious, stick around because this is absolutely insane. Check it out, just, just wait. Okay, so if you aren't familiar with Pressure Hunter, if you're new or just don't know, seven agility chaos card the seven agility makes it a little bit odd you can come you you can't really combine pressure hunter uh for, to make a perfect 25 agility build i probably shouldn't have said that because now probably somebody's going to do some math and i, I should have looked into it more but anyways it's a little bit odd but it is great 10 power 13 attack speed again it does give not the greatest of stats compared to its cost, but the passive is where it's at. It's called Giant Slayer. Deal 2.5 bonus damage against targets with more vitality than you. The amount is increased with the vitality difference. So against somebody with only one vitality difference, you gain 2.5. With two, it's it's um it's you know it's five. With three vitality difference, 7.5, etc. etc. The key thing here is that it's bonus damage. And I honestly think this will change to be power or additional basic damage if you want to build it more of as a carry card the bonus damage i think is having some it's it's broken right now like it works on iggy and scorch's turrets and passive it works on zinc's kitty claws it's a little bit broken right now and i think they're going to change that bonus damage into actual power or basic or in basic uh basic damage a little broken right now but uh we're going to I, I think it's meant to be a carry card, and that's how we're going to treat it in this video. If we take a look here at um, some of these scenarios and math here, it starts to get really interesting. In scenario one, we're going with Pressure Hunter, Shatter Golem, and Guard Piercer. That is a that is the perfect 25 agility um, build. That's the only one I could find maybe maybe you guys could find something else out there um but that is perfect 25 agility carry build so that's what we're going for in this first scenario in scenario two we're going with opd militia shatter golem and overclock joy just to give you a traditional opd militia build versus the uh versus a perfect pressure hunter build so we have murdoch we have kalari and we have twin blast for murdoch scenario one when you add into fang tooth um and all the attributes you get certain power levels and 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 attack speed levels with power from the items and attack speed from the items you get basic attack damage per hit uh which surprisingly isn't much different um but the dps is astronomically different by the way this one opd militia doesn't include that the dps is astronomically different as opd militia is in this one and this one is not so as you can see without a vitality difference pressure hunter 
it's kind of hurting. OPD Militia is almost, well, not really quite double, but um, close to double the DPS. Uh, so once we start adding in Vitality Deltas, however, one Vitality Delta, the DPS increases just a little bit. Uh, vitality Delta here of two, you can see 1% increase. Um, and then 2% increase. And when you go all the way down to 20, 25 Vitality Deltas, you're, you haven't gone for, for Vitality at all. 23% DPS increase here on Murdoch, up from 520 to 685. That is significant. 23% increase is Astronom. That's, that's really good. That's really, really good uh, in, in terms of, you know, just increasing your damage output. When we go over to Kalari, she's probably one that, you know, as an assassin could definitely use, um, you know, Pressure Hunter quite well. You can see that in Scenario 1, not the greatest, 497. Again, with her high pseudo bursty nature, nature with her Shadow Walk, OPD Militia, again, is just fantastic. OPD Militia is just crazy. Um, you can see the DPS increase, though, for her with Pressure Hunter is even more because she doesn't have the per hit damage of a carry. She benefits a little bit more from this. 672 DPS up from 497. So that that is crazy, especially against those tanks or heroes with vitality difference. And with Twin Blast here, he benefits the most from it. He doesn't hit hard. He doesn't hit very hard, um, but it, you know, it works very well. And I think this doesn't calculate the fact that his second shot would benefit from it as well, just because it's kind of broken. I don't know if it's if it, if, it, if it's broken or just not working as intended, but the whole bonus damage on every damage instance. I haven't calculated that in here on uh, Pressure Hunter working, and I know that it that he's he deals tremendous damage with this. So the fact is that he gets a 27% increase. I almost think that this would be twice as much. I honestly think this would be 54% um, damage increase. And you know what? Let's just let's just see let's just see if that actually you know works out that way. You know what? I I I, I don't want to do the math at, at at this point for it. It's it's really good on twin blast. People are running twin blast with pressure hunter purposefully because it's kind of an exploit. Uh, he, he's dealing tremendous, tremendous, tremendous damage with it. Um, but if if it works intended, you know, in a perfect world, um, it does really well on him. And of course, OPD militia runs away with it. Now, what if we combine pressure hunter and OPD militia? Check this out and this is actually supposed to say grim here as i wanted to see what it would be like on grim what if we have opd militia pressure hunter and heavy hitter on murdoch and grim what does that say well get the power from attributes and 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 um and stuff like that power from items and attack speed from items we have basic basic attack damage per hit <coughs> not including opd 217, 209, and then the DPS, including OPD, uh, with no benefit from the passive of Heavy Hitter, 810 and 790. Now, once we start including a Vitality Delta, which, by the way, you could put Power Tap so that once you're at max build, 25 Agility and 4 Knowledge, you go into Power Tap to increase to just increase your per hit damage, feeding into Heavy Hitter, feeding into your Critical Hit Gem, uh, and feeding into Grimm's ultimate here, feeding into Murdoch's ultimate, it just synergizes so well. That's not even with it with, with this, and we're, we're actually going to get to something here. Watch this. Vitality Delta, look at this DPS numbers! 948! 929! What is this, ladies and gentlemen? It's insane. OPD Militia and Pressure Hunter against a against a hero with Vitality Difference is the highest DPS in the game, hands down absolutely insane now let's increase this is hero level 15 because i thought you know you don't usually get to hero level 20 all, all that often what if we include hero level 20 with two power taps which is only about 36 thousand gold in a match which is a bit high but say it goes say it's a longer game and you get 36 thousand gold what does that dps look like well Hero level 20 plugged in here. Yes, it does populate throughout, throughout this entire thing. I've added 30 power 
onto uh, onto these heroes. Look at this. 10, that 1,064 DPS in here. Base. That's base without without heavy without pressure hunter at all and then look at this look at this delta even against even in the late game when everybody's just going to go into vitality anyways because they've done their th their main stat look at this five eleven hundred dps at the seven for murdoch for grim even eleven hundred look at this twenty five hundred and you've got into power taps twelve hundred dps ladies and gentlemen insane absolutely insane it's ridiculous pressure hunter and this isn't even on twin blast like imagine if we did twin blast and i try to calculate his, it working on also his second attack what insane ladies and gentlemen it's it, it's bonkers so i think i found something ladies and gentlemen and it's insane so what are some factual statements we could make about pressure hunter i'm excited well it contains below average stats for its attribute cost like i said before if you're not utilizing that passive it's it's not the best card at that moment. Pressure Hunter is solely based on giving a damage boost against targets with more vitality than you. Basically, it's kind of like the tank buster. It's a tank buster. If they have three tanks or something like that, you can bust them down with Pressure Hunter. Pressure Hunter can provide up to around a 27% DPS increase on a carry against full vitality hero. Again, Twin Blast. There's an odd interaction. It's probably like 40% or something like that, 50%. Um, it's probably nuts on him. Uh, but it is. It's... Just consider it's an exploit if you if you ask me. So don't do it. Pressure hunter will not work against a target that has the same or less amount of vitality than you. Again, just to drive that point home, pressure hunter will not be a better than any seven point cost card or higher if not utilizing its passive. Kind of reiterating the same thing, just in different ways. If you're you know if there's if there's three carries on the enemy team probably don't get pressure hunter pressure hunter can provide the second biggest dps boost next to opd militia and excluding something like red zone except only against targets with more vitality than you pressure hunter starts equal similar cost cards like flag bear swamp stalker uh swift hunter wound seeker maybe even heavy hitter but probably a little bit more when your target has a five to ten vitality delta with you if you're even if you're hitting somebody with probably 12 13 14 vitality delta then it starts equaling um, heavy hitter, just because heavy hitter is really, really good. When one combines Pressure Hunter with OPD Militia against a target with more vitality than you, one can achieve the highest DPS in the game, hands down, excluding, of course, something crazy like Red Zone. If one is against three fighters or heroes building vitality, even two, honestly, even two, just because those th those heroes like to dive the back line, and if you're playing safe and, you know, taking them down, Pressure Hunter can be a massive DPS boost. Absolutely, hands down, it's really good. Yes, there's some weird interactions right now, but you know what, guys? It's insane. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Pressure Hunter. Are you going to use it? I'm going to use it right now with OPD Militia because that's insane. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it, if you dislike it. Share with the community, guys, of course. Subscribe if you guys want to uh, help. If you guys want to learn more later on, uh, please hit that subscribe button so I can help you out in the future. Check the video description for links to my website, merchandise, or Amazon affiliate link, Reddit, Reddit links, all that stuff. That's all down there. And of course, check out my social media. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, Twitch subscribers, YouTube sponsors. All go out of the way to help me do what I love on a regular basis. Till next time, like always, guys, stay optimistic and positive.